Today, I'm going to show you a complete beginner's guide of the Samsung Smart Ring. I'm going to show you some of my favorite tips, tricks, and hidden features allowing you to leave this video as a Samsung Smart Ring expert. Let's get started. On the front of the box here, we have a picture of the device itself. It says Galaxy Ring and Samsung. And on the sides, it's nothing but information, Samsung Galaxy Ring. On the back, it's got some standard information about the device. And in order to open it, it's got this pull tab that we can go ahead and pull it and open the box. So we can just pull off the pull tab. And just like that, we're able to open the box and see what's inside. And it comes open just like this. It's got two little tabs and we can pull out the ring. And there we have it. Now we've got this lovely box right here. And we can go ahead and lift it up. And in the top here, we've got some information. And then in the bottom, we've got the charging case, which includes the ring on the inside of it. I'm going to put that to the side, take a look at what kind of information we got here. So let's see here. Um, we can go ahead and open up this. We can see our standard safety information, a quick start guide, everything we need to know to get started. So the temperature sensor, the optical heart rate sensor, and more quick pairing. So you've got all kinds of information. You've even got a little charging cable here. So that's really cool to see. This looks like it's USB-C to USB-C, and we can use that to charge our charging case. So we just plug in the USB-C connection in the very back of the case there, and we plug the other end into our computer or our wall brick, and that's how we charge it. And that's all we have there for the case. And we'll go ahead and put the information back in the box here and open up the device and start to play with it. So it should be fairly easy to connect this to your phone. All you have to do is unlock your device and um, you can go ahead and open up the, the ring you can see there's a glowing light around it that shows the battery life percentage. So it's almost fully charged there and we're good to go. And then it automatically detects it after you've unlocked your phone right here, Galaxy Ring 347X, a new device has been found. And we can just press this connect button right here on the right. And it wants Galaxy wearable to find, connect and determine the relative position. We'll go ahead and hit allow. And that will allow the wearable app to talk to the Galaxy Ring. So it's got to download some software. Your phone will use Galaxy Ring plugin. It's 95 megabytes to connect to your ring. And this is going pretty fast. So it's already over 50% here. And after this has been successfully downloaded, the software will enable um, it to talk to each other. In today's promotion, we're talking about Incogni, an incredible way to stay safe on the internet. You can get Incogni with our 50% discount using our promotion link, appfind.org slash Incogni. That brings the price down to $7.49 per month on their annual plan. Let's take a look at what it does. It allows you to be safer on the internet and it lowers your risk for identity theft. All you have to do is just make an account, you type in your credentials and your information, and you grant them the right to work for you and they'll go you know navigate they'll send multiple requests across multiple databases to remove your account information that's on the internet and publicly available so it's an incredible way uh, to stay safe on the internet and with the app find promotion at appfind.org slash incogni you can save 50 percent on their annual prime price it's traditionally 14 dollars and 98 cents per month but with our discount you can get it for seven dollars and 49 cents per month on the annual plan and if you don't want the annual plan, you can do the monthly plan for $14.98 a month. So it's an incredible way to stay safe on the internet. And that way, you know, people that are trying to either scam you or steal your identity won't be able to do so because Incogni will be, be there to protect you and to, um, you know, request all of your data on the internet that they can find to be removed from, um, you know, those internet profiles. So you can check it out today at Incogni appfind.org slash incogni is the link to go to and you can get the lovely plan with 50 percent off for seven dollars and 49 cents per month on the annual plan so we're at 100 percent and we're good to go 
And now it's time for us to review some permissions for the Galaxy wearable. So we'll have to review the Samsung end user license agreement, the Galaxy wearable privacy notice, and the sending of diagnostic data, which is optional. And then you can agree to automatic updates, which is optional, or agree to automatic updates for the wearable. So we'll go ahead and hit continue for there. And it says allow Ring Manager to access Galaxy Ring 347X. So this is basically saying that the Ring Manager plugin and the application will allow it to talk to this actual ring. So it'll be able to sync info, like the name of someone calling um, between your phone and your Galaxy Ring. So we'll hit allow for that and we'll be good to go. And then to locate your phone with your ring, you need to allow Galaxy Wearable to access your location all the time and use it to use your precise location. So you'll have to go into settings and then select allow and then turn um, all the time and turn and use precise location. So we'll say allow all the time and then use precise location. And now we'll be able to use the ring device on the phone. And then we can go ahead and head back over. We've got location permission. Um, so we can go ahead, hit the back button, hit continue, allow. Allow Galaxy Ring Manager to send notifications. We'll hit allow for that and it's getting ready to connect. So this may take a few seconds. So we set up all the permissions and agreed to all the terms and service. And now we can check your body's battery level. Um, so wear your ring continuously to get detailed energy score at the start of each day. It lets you know when your body needs a break and helps you find the right balance of activity and rest. So I'll go ahead and hit next. We can understand your sleep for better rest. Wear your ring at night to get detailed records of your sleep. Get in-depth insights on your sleep habits by tracking your sleep and wake times, blood oxygen levels, and more. And then we can go ahead and hit next. You can track your daily activity. Your ring automatically tracks your activity so you can check how much you've moved through the day, setting daily activity targets to help you stay active. We can go ahead and hit next. And then we can get alerts for high or low heart rate. When your ring detects an abnormal heart rate, you'll get a notification on your phone. And then we'll hit next. We can predict your menstrual cycle. So this is great for females that want to you know, forecast your cycle based off changes in your skin temperature. And then we can hit next, how to wear your ring. To get the best readings, wear your ring with the embossed mark on the palm side of your finger and make sure the sensors stay in contact with your skin. And then finishing up, this may take a few seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the ring off of the charger here and we'll find the embossed side, which is right here. And we'll slide it onto our ring finger. And just like that. And now it has synced the ring successfully. So we've got Justin's ring right here. It's at 100%. And Samsung Find can help you find your ring in case it gets lost. We've got all of these great features that we're going to explore. But for now, we're going to go ahead and collect some data. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep with it. I'm going to get an energy score in the morning and get some data like my heart rate. And then after I've collected that data overnight, I'm going to come back and review that with you. So this was fairly easy to get set up and started. You know, it took us less than five minutes to get it out the box. It was already fairly charged. This charging case here, you can take it on the go. And if you need to, you can take your ring off, plop it on and um, charge up just from the charging case itself without even plugging it in. So that's a really cool feature, but we're gonna collect some, some data using our, um, our ring, our smart ring from Samsung, the Galaxy Ring. And then after it's collected some data over some time, we're gonna come back to this fitness app right here. We tap on it, we're in the Wear app. We're gonna come back to this and check out things like our energy score and the Samsung component and more. So that's been a setup process of the Galaxy Ring for the Samsung device here. And we're gonna go ahead and collect some data and we'll be right back. Today, we're featuring Surfshark VPN, an incredible way to keep your online data and transactions and uh, surfing and web browsing protected with an incredible layer of protection using a virtual private network. They even have software that runs on your computer that can keep you safe from antivirus, um, you know, malware, viruses, and software. It can protect your webcam, your microphone, and downloaded files. And you can be in full control of your personal data and details 
at all times. It's one of the best virtual private networks out there that you can incorporate, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to set it up today. The best part is you can get your Surfshark VPN starting at $2.19 a month for the first 24 months with our Surfshark promotion. You can go to appfine.org slash Surfshark to get this incredible deal. It will be presented with a Get Surfshark button. You can go ahead and subscribe to the plan that fits you best. Of course, they've got 24-month plans, 12-month plans, and even a one-month plan that they have out here. They've got various different versions, which you can compare and see all the various different features. You've got your basic version, which offers a secure VPN, an ad blocker, a cookie pop-up blocker, and then with Surfshark 1, you can get uh, stuff to protect your identity, like masking your emails and personal details. And of course, with OnePlus, you get even more protection like webcam protection, antivirus, spyware, and malware protection. So really cool plants that they have right here. Let's go ahead and set up our Surfshark starter to get started. Um, all you have to do is just log in with your information. So you can go ahead and you can type in your email address. So next step is to choose payment method. So I can do PayPal, credit card, Google Pay, Amazon Wallet, cryptocurrency, and I can add additional services like alternative number and more. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in my payment information and get us set up really quick. All right, my payment is successful and I've successfully set up my profile here. Um, it expires in a month and I have alternative ID. So I'll go ahead and hit continue and now um, it's offering me a one-time deal here. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that. We'll skip the deal and see what it looks like to get set up on our device here. So the first step is to download the application. You can either get the .apk or you can download on the Google Play Store. I'm gonna tap on the Google Play Store and we'll go ahead and press the install button to install Surfshark on our device here. And it just takes a few seconds. You can see it's already over 50% here. We're installing and we are good to go. Now that we have Surfshark installed on our device, we're gonna go ahead and open it up and log in with the credentials. So before we paid, it asked us to enter an email or to log in with Google. Um, you'll go ahead and enter those emails, those passwords, those uh, authentication methods, whether it's Google, Microsoft, Apple, or your email, right here on the screen. I have successfully, I'll go ahead and cancel the Samsung Pass, but I've successfully logged into Surfshark on my mobile device here. So next up is security essentials. I can allow Surfshark notifications. They can prompt you about VPN status, kill switch alerts, and more. So I'll go ahead and hit OK for that, and then I'll press this allow button at the bottom so notifications can come in. And now we have access to the application and all you have to do to protect your online security, your online web transfer data is to just press this blue teal quick connect button. So this is default location for accessing your VPN at the United States. I'm gonna go ahead and press the button. It's gonna offer a connection request. Surfshark wants to set up a VPN connection that allows it to monitor network traffic only except if you trust the source. And of course the little key appears at the top of your screen when the VPN is active. I'm gonna press okay and it's gonna start automatically connecting here. And now it asks me to turn off battery optimization for Surfshark. Battery optimization mode can slow down your connection speed and call slutters. We highly recommend turning the setting off. So just after pressing the quick connect button, I am safe and good to go. You can see the little icon in the top right of our device here, the key icon that lets us know that this VPN is active and I am actively protected when using my mobile device. If I wanna change locations, I can, but the best part is now that I'm using Surfshark's VPN, I am safe when I'm browsing on the internet, uh, when I'm doing transactions, when I'm um, doing my traditional stuff on my mobile phone in public areas, it's much safer to go through a VPN than to do it without one. So I've also got access to other features down here. I can check out their other products, but this has been a quick setup guide here for the Surfshark VPN. You can download it now. You can go to appfind.org slash Surfshark and get your deal. Um, you can sign up for 24 months, 12 months, um, or monthly and get access to this lovely app that allows you to protect your online data and your IP address with Surfshark. I've worn my Galaxy Ring for a few days. Now let's take a look at the app and see what it looks like to analyze that data and see how it can be used to improve your overall health and sleep tracking. So you're gonna analyze all of your data. You can open it up in the wearable app. All you have to do is just swipe up, tap on Samsung, 
and then open the wearable app. And here are all of your wearable items. So if you have a Galaxy watch or a ring or um, other earbuds, you can find those settings right here within the Galaxy wearable app. All of them just show up really nicely right here. So you can see I've got my ring set up. Um, you can see the battery percentage of it. So I've been wearing it for about four days now. Um, haven't charged it since and it's around 14% battery life. I can come over here and see that Samsung Find can help you find your ring in case it gets lost. So we can set that up um, where it allows you to find your ring in case it gets lost. It shares your location and you find lost devices. We can go ahead and hit continue. By continuing, you have to agree to the location terms and conditions and we'll go ahead and hit continue. And it uses contacts, location, and notifications for Samsung Find. So we'll go ahead and hit allow. And now we'll ask to be used our contacts, allow Samsung Find to access your contacts. We'll hit allow and then allow Samsung Find to send you notifications. We'll hit allow. So now it wants to know if it can um, have our location, if we want precise location or approximate location. I'm going to say approximate, but it may be best if you do precise. Um, and then you can say while well, using the app only this time or don't allow. I'm going to say while well, using the app. You can access Samsung Find by swiping up tapping on the Samsung folder, and then pressing the Find icon application. For my privacy, I'm not going to open it up, but this will allow you to find things like your Ring and your Samsung devices in case they get lost. So it's a really cool feature to turn on and use approximate, um, or instead of approximate location, you can use precise location to identify you know, where your Samsung devices are. I'm going to go ahead and tap on the wearable app and head back into the Samsung wearable section where I can look at the stats for my ring. So over here, I can learn how to get the most from my ring. Let's go ahead and hit tips. You've got health tips, wearing and using your ring in the user guide. If I go over to the health section, I can check my body's back or yeah, my body's battery level before each day. And um, I can analyze the energy score and plan my day based off what's best for my body. I can get insight into sleeping and coaching. So sleep insights and coaching. You can wear your ring when you're asleep um, and it measures your sleep stages. You get a sleep score and sleep coaching based off the results. You can get alerts for high or low heart rate. That's really handy if you're tracking your heart rate. And then you can check your heart rate during workouts. When, you're, when you start a workout on your phone, your ring tracks your heart rate to let you know which heart rate zones you've reached and how long you stayed in them. You can predict your menstrual cycle. So if you're tracking um, your menstrual cycle, you can do that and use the smart ring uh, to predict that. And then last but not least, we can keep tracking for longer. When you pair it with the Galaxy Watch, um, they support each other and allow you to save battery life. Um, so if your watch runs out of battery or has difficulty recording data, tracking will resume on your ring to keep your measurements up to date, which is really cool. So that's in the health tips section. Let's see wearing the ring. So you can press the button in the case to reconnect it. Um, so if you need to reconnect it to a new phone, there is a button right here in the Samsung Galaxy Ring case. You press that to reconnect it. And then um, if it doesn't connect automatically, you can pair it using that button right there. You just press that button for three seconds until the ring light starts spinning. You can check your ring's battery level. So take off your ring to check its battery level. Your ring's light will flash green if the battery is above 15%. The light will flash red when it's below 15% to let you know that it's time for a charge. So if we go ahead and take off the ring here, um, let's see, I don't see any lights flickering, but we know that it's below 15% because uh, we saw it on the Galaxy app earlier when we opened up the wearable section. So you can check your battery with the case. You just press the button. So I'll go ahead and demo that for you. If we take off our ring and we place it on the case, then we can check the ring's battery. So if I slide it to the right section here. So it has to be specific. The little sensors have to go exactly where the cut is there. So I got it placed on. So you can see the ring's battery right there. You can see the 14% after I've gotten it placed on the, the battery case. So this is cool. It's currently charging the ring right now because inside is a battery. So that's one cool feature that they come with the Galaxy Ring that you can check out.
Check out today's sponsor, Rakuten, where you can get a $30 bonus today when you sign up using the link in the description, appfind.org slash Rakuten. You can shop at your favorite stores with over 3,500 stores to check out, and you install the plugin, create an account on Rakuten, and earn cash back today. It's really cool that you can come here and get paid to shop, and of course you can earn your $30 bonus today using the link in the description. This helps out the AppFind channel a lot, so check out today's sponsor, Rakuten, using the link appfind.org slash Rakuten. So let's see what else we have. We can go ahead and unlock our device. And last but not least, we can get the best fit. Get the best readings where your ring with an emboss mark on the palm side of your finger and make sure the sensors stay in contact with your skin. So really cool features and tips that they've announced there. Now on for the good stuff. So the first thing that we're going to check out here is the energy score. You just tap on the energy score and it lets us know what our energy score is. Um, so we can see on the graph here it had an energy score on the 8th and 9th and then the 8th and the 10th. So we can see our sleep time average, our sleep time consistency, bedtime, wake up consistency, sleep timing, previous day activity, sleep HR, sleep HRV, and more. So we can see our heart rate during sleep, our heart rate variability during sleep, our skin temperature during sleep, and that respiratory rate during sleep. So really cool that we can come over here and check out the details there. So now we're in the Samsung Health app and we can see all of these details um, that are added, so our steps, how, how many minutes uh, we exercised, how many calories we burned, our sleep score. So I'm gonna go ahead and review all of these components to our energy score. So we can tap on the, the um, daily activity here and you can see that we've exceeded 6,000 steps, which is our, our goal. And then we've got about 90 minutes for our active time. We've reached about 64 and then we burned 258 calories out of 500. So total burning calories is 642 and distance while active about 2.81 miles. And we can come here and see when those um, steps, active time and active calories were taking. It automatically logs the walking workout here that I did. Um, and I can come over and see how long that workout was for, how many uh, calories I burned. So really cool software that they baked right here into the Samsung Health app and is getting all of the data from this ring right here as I wear it. And it just automatically tracks this data and syncs it right back to the Samsung Health app. I can check out the sleep score so I can get deeper insights with advanced measurements. Sleep with your watch, band, or ring for new insights on your health. Um, and, and let's go ahead and just say not now for now. So um, I can see my sleep time. I got about nine hours and 55 minutes. And it's interesting. I'm curious how the time zone is being calculated here because it says I slept at 1.25 p.m. versus, you know, a, a regular time. Um, I can go back to the 10th and I can see my sleep time there. So over time, as you wear your ring, um, you can monitor things like your sleep stages, when you're awake, your REM, your light sleep, your deep, deep sleep, your blood oxygen during sleep, and you can get all of these lovely stats right here within the sleep app. And then again, the best part about this is this was just with the ring itself. Um, so if you have a watch, you can also get this content. Um, but this, these stats were straight from the ring and a really cool piece of the software. So we can go back if we swipe up, go to Samsung, and then open up our wearable app. We have checked things like our energy score and our sleep. The next thing to check out is the heart rate. So the heart rate, you can come over here and you can view what your heart rate was, um, your min and max heart rate per hour, and you've got all the different readings that they log right here um, and they save it right within the, the health app. So we can do a live reading if I put my Samsung Galaxy ring on and I come over here to the measure button um, so it says put your ring on and try again. So I've got the ring on, I'm going to hit measure, and now it's live measuring my heart rate. As I'm creating this video, you get a percentage that's going by. We're a little over 20% here. Um, it says try to stay still and quiet. I'm not doing either of those. So right now my heart rate is about 92 beats per minute as I'm talking and creating this video. And I can talk about what my general um, 
general status is right here. So I can go ahead and say that I am excited. I'm creating a lovely video here. So I can go ahead and save that in. You can check your heart rate using the Galaxy Ring in real time there. As you saw, I just put it on and was able to get a real live rate measure, a real live heart rate measure there using this lovely application. So you can see your heart rate and all those goodies there. You can see um, it syncs straight over to the Samsung Health app, and you've got those three metrics that are in the uh, the Ring wearable app. Your energy score, your sleep, and your heart rate, and all of those redirect us to what's in the also available in the um, Samsung Health app when we open that up. So you see Samsung Health in the top left there, and I can come over here, I can see the same stats, my energy score, my sleep score, and um, all those goodies right here within the health app. So really cool that these two talk together and you're able to come in here and tap on, you know, your sleep. You can get an overview of your sleep. Um, you can get an overview of, um, if we go back to the wearable app, your energy score. So it links all of this data together right here within the Samsung wearable app. So you can see things like your energy score and your overall health app, um, you know, logs all this information. So it's really easy to come back and see an overview of your energy score and your sleep score. Really two key features of the Samsung Galaxy Ring. Um, so you're able to come in here and check out all of this cool stuff. Um, this is what the wearable app looks like. Again, you can see we've gained 5%. We're now at 20% with just charging it for about, what, two minutes here on the charger. And um, you can see all the details here. You can continue to see what Samsung account you're linked with, what health settings you have. You can reset it. You can do a Ring software update. And you can get about the Ring, set up a Find My Ring, and tips and user guide. Want to promote your business in front of tech enthusiasts? You can sponsor AppFind to get a shout out on a video or even your own dedicated video. To learn more, see our rate card and request a sponsorship. You can click our link in the description to Passion Fruit to learn more and inquire about a sponsorship. So this has been a complete beginner's guide of the Samsung Galaxy Smart Ring. If you enjoyed this video, let us know what your favorite Samsung Smart Ring feature is in the comments below. Be sure to hit that like button and let us know what your favorite um, you know, feature is of this below in the comments. And be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. We love making these technology videos for you and can't wait to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.